Hello and welcome to another week in our garden. It's rather overcast today, but it is warmish, a little bit of breeze, but it's good working weather. Now we're going to start this week by picking the blotty beans this were ready. Obviously the ones at the bottom are ready and the ones at the top not, so this will be our first pick. And the best way to see if they're ready is just to open one. So we'll have a peep inside and see what the beans look like. And there you are, look. They're, they're ready, so we'll have some of these off. Just We'll just take the bigger ones because we know they'll be ready. As you can see, there's quite a few and most are ready. So we'll pick them and let you see what we've harvested on our first pick. Now we've done the first pick of the blotty beans. We've got a basket full, that'll do to start us off. The rest won't be long, I don't think we're looking at them. Now we need to have a look at the plums. I looked at them yesterday and the wasps have got through them a bit and the weather's got through them a bit, so we'll pick what we can. Now we're at the plum tree. Now the poor old trees had a very, very bad year this year. It's been attacked with aphid. It's had loads and loads of cold weather, then hot weather, torrential rain, high winds. And so it still managed to do a little bit of fruit. Now there is quite a bit of bad fruit in amongst them. So what we'll do, we'll pick them and the ones that are not so good we'll discard and we'll keep the good ones because the wasps have now found them and all I can hear behind me is wasp buzzing so I think today we might get a few stings while we're picking. They're quite easy to pick, you just lift them up and they just break off. But you see that one's got a wasp on it and it's spoilt the fruit now so that goes in in the bucket and we'll put those in the compost bin what a shame not to lose a nice plum so we'll get them picked pick the plums and believe it or not i managed to do it without getting stung by the wasps a nice basket full of plums there is about half a gain that are not quite ripe but we've picked them and we'll stand them out in the shed, space them out, just to let them ripen off. Because if we leave them on the tree, the wasps are, are going to destroy them. So once they've made the little hole, the fruit rots very quickly. So we'll leave them for the wasps. First. Right, now we'll just pop into this bottom greenhouse while we're down here and we'll pick some peppers what i'm going to do now is going to pick some of these chili peppers that are nice and red i'm going to pick them using the grape secateurs actually and i want to pick them i'm going to pick them with a long stalk if possible and tomorrow we'll string them so i'll show you how i string them tomorrow we need quite a basket full, so we'll get on with it. There you go. There you go. Now, Diane made a casserole for me with some of these in. And you don't need a lot, because... Now, you don't need a lot of these apache peppers, because my ears were flapping there was that hot and and diane said they're not very strong so thank goodness we didn't have any stronger ones <laughs> get these picked and then i'll show you what i've got there you are that's the apache peppers some of them picked there's still quite a few to turn red tomorrow I'll put these on a string and I'll show you how I do them and then we can hang them in the shed or even in the kitchen. I'll just show you how the other, the sweet peppers, 
are progressing in here. There's quite a few yellows ready. Down here the reds are beginning to turn now. The bull's horn are just beginning to ripen now. The problem is with the peppers, all the peppers, is that they need a minimum of 20 degrees. Now as we're going into autumn, the weather starts to cool, especially at night. So I try as best I can to keep the, do this little greenhouse closed, all the vents closed, and let the fan circulate the air a little bit. If the temperature does drop, and I'll show you one that caught a draft from the door one day. Now this poor pepper here caught the cold draft and you can see what it's done to it. The pepper should be fine, I'll just cut one off and let you see. The peppers will be fine, under underdeveloped obviously, but we need to take them. Those three are fine, but if you leave them on, can you see where it's beginning to rot there? That's because of the cold draft coming in the door one day. There's not a lot you can do if your temperature does drop. The peppers will stop fruiting, obviously, and then the foliage will collapse because they'll shut down for winter. Now we've just popped in the top greenhouse because it looks like we're going to have a drop of rain. It's actually spotting now. So we're going to pick these red tomatoes while we're up here. There's the cucumber still going strong. That I want tying up, so I'll bring the tie up to get that done. So we'll pick these few over while the weather clears, and then we'll add them to the ones we've picked down the garden. Now we've picked a few tomatoes that are ready from the garden and from this top greenhouse. Right, I'm just going to take this cucumber here, it's quite big and nice and straight, which makes a change. So we'll take that one. I haven't got the knife, so I shall have to twist it off. Apologies for having to twist rather than cut. There you go. That's a nice cucumber. As regards the cucumber, I've taken quite a few leaves off this end because the vines now go up along, right along, along, and they finish there. But as you can see at this end, they're still throwing cucumbers, so we'll keep that going. Now, I did set one late cucumber as a sort of a backup, just in case we lost any. And it hasn't been planted that long. And I just put it in a 10 litre pot, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six cucumbers on it already so it's a good year for cucumbers this year i think the cucumber that was over there one as i said has got to here and another one has got to here still producing as you can see that they're still trying to throw a cucumber into and another one just coming along on this rail that has actually got Two more cucumbers falling on it. So no, three. Not three, sorry, three cucumbers forming on that. We are producing a lot of cucumbers this year, most of them are giving away. But it just goes to show if you water twice a day, feed twice a week, and keep it running with some support, they will keep going for quite some time. This is Fem Spot and it really has produced well this year. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, now you know as we're going into September, 
the poorer cucumber will start shutting down. It just doesn't like the colder nights. So when it's time, we'll start and see the leaves will get mildew on them. They will turn yellow and then the plant will actually die. And then we'll start again next year. And this is what we've harvested today. There's some nice blotty beans. Some nice plums. I did try one, they're very, very sweet this year. The chili peppers. Just Loads of tomatoes that were ready. They're the small ones and there's also some plum ones in there. Those three peppers that we took off that plant that had got the chill there there and a cucumber from the top greenhouse good morning sunday today we couldn't get out the house hardly yesterday with the storms and the rain and the wind and it's very very cold this morning so we've just popped in the shed and what we're going to do today is we harvested the hot chili peppers if you remember and now we're going to string them like these and then they will actually hang in the shed but not at the moment because we've got the onions in the shed as you can see we've got the onions in the shed they're still very damp and they're giving off a lot of moisture so I don't really want to hang peppers and garlic in there to be drying in the top so we'll take them up to the house put them in the boot room and then when the onions have dried out a little we'll bring them back and store them in here there's the peppers we're going to thread this is the thread it is um just let me pop my glasses on because this is i'm using extra strong thread so that's the, what we're using i have threaded the needle and i've put quite a big knot in the end now the peppers if you remember we harvest them with a stalk best we could uh, obviously there'll be one or two like this that will have to go up and be used first because that you will not be able to thread that the other thing to remember is try and do them as fresh as possible because the stems will start to shrizzle and if they start shrizzling it makes it more difficult to thread them so what we'll do we'll start with a nice big one so you can see you get your needle and you push it through the stem like that and then that will start the bottom just let me move that that will start us off now then all we do then is we keep threading them try and get it through the center of the stem if you can it takes me quite a long time because my hand aren't as sharp as they used to be but you'll soon get the hang of it try and keep low down i'll show you let me find a narrow one this one if you go too far up if i can do it they quite easily break so try and get too close to the pepper as you can and then put them on yes there you go and you just keep threading and it builds up on the on the cotton so we'll do a few and then come back to you and then do a few to the end
see the string now forming I like the green in the middle because it makes it look like they're still on the plant actually with the green center right I'll continue and then I'll get back to you now I've threaded all the way along it's about the same height as the other two we've done and I put a loop in the top and just put a knot in it just to hang it up the thread is quite strong so it will hold them right I'll just hang it up with the others and then to show you there you go the peppers on the cotton just a few more still to do but I'll do that there'll only be a short one to go with them now when these peppers come back to the shed we're actually going to take them to the house remember and then we'll bring them back and when they're dried out thoroughly we'll put them into a ziplock bag and then store them up at the house in the pantry somewhere okay now that'll be it for this week on this very cool Sunday morning we've got the peppers done so that's the main thing now next week we need to start on the autumn jobs so I'll get a list of jobs sorted out in the week and then we'll get those done there's quite a bit of work to do in the autumn it's as busy as the spring actually still a little bit of harvesting to do raspberries we harvested just before the storm yesterday so we got those up to the house they're actually in the freezer now the pumpkins will ripen a little when the sun does come out it actually did come out a little bit this morning but i've taken the leaves off the pumpkins so that the sun can harden the skins likewise the butternut squash i've taken some of the leaves off so that the light can get to them to help them harden those skins hopefully we've got some warm days coming with a bit of sunshine that will help a lot but those are jobs we'll do next week with you and in the meantime do take care everybody it's not over yet many many thanks for watching thank you for subscribing we do appreciate it and um, we'll see you next week and we'll get busy with the jobs okay bye now <laughs>